Well, let's move on to the front wall of the boiler. All right, so the first thing that I notice here, Stephen, is that I have a poured refractory, which is hard and a little bit softer, more blanket uh, type. And the reason we do it, two different reasons. One, this reflects heat where this will absorb heat. You, mm -hmm. you, you have to have a hard refractory to finish the throat forming itself for the, for the, ref, uh, for the firing mechanism for the burner to, to get the flame <laughs> shape and get everything right. But that's all the ref hard refractory we need. Then we need something to, one, lighten the load, two, not absorb heat to make the, the burner, the whole boiler system more efficient. So we use a light refractory. It's a module type uh, refractory. So it's, it's all module stuffed in there. Doesn't weigh hardly anything. Holds up real well, reflects heat, doesn't absorb it. It just does a lot better job. And then these things are, they're bouncing up down the road at 60, 70 miles an hour. So it, it takes that vibration. You don't have any issues with it at all. Okay, what type of temperatures do we get in here? We want to keep it below 2500. Anything above 2500, we start forming what they call thermal knocks. So it gets our emissions up. Mm -hmm. We'll have zones in here that are, that are going to reach 3500. Mm -hmm. But with the mixing we're doing, bringing uh, flue gas recirculation in, by the time it gets back here, towards the back will be in that 2500 range and then it'll drop down from there. So that, that helps to keep that thermal knocks down as low as we can. 